Well, putting a turbo blanket on a B9 3.0T hurt the life of the turbo due to the increased heat. Uh, it's possible. We cannot say. Yeah, we haven't tested that. That'd be, that's a. But I have I have seen turbo blankets make turbo castings just come apart. Like um, there was one particular. And I don't think this was necessarily great casting, right. but uh, who knows? But the the the, uh, the casting just started flaking off and breaking off, almost like shale. Yeah, it's like potato know? chips, kind of like just yeah, just literally. And you could just literally, you know, every time you see it, you could just peel a couple more layers of cast iron off this uh, turbine housing. I've seen it destroy exhaust manifolds and pipes. Um, but also, I've, I've seen it, war, you know, not, not do that. Yeah. I think generally these turbo blanket products are pretty snake oily. Um, you, know, you can spend a lot of money on these. And it's, unless you're protecting components around the turbo from radiant heat, which for sure they will help with that. Mm -hmm. But there's this theoretical idea that you're keeping more heat in the exhaust inside the turbine housing, which keeps, you know, the, the actual effect of that on a, on an engine and in the real world, I think is probably well below. Yeah. I mean, any, have you, have you any ever benefit. seen any back to backs where like no. you're on a, on a controlled dyno, you know, and you do some bunch of runs without a blanket, put a blanket on, do some more runs to get any, any benefit on there. It. There's not. And, and again, I'd love to study this stuff more, but we don't, we don't really do much. But we used to sell some turbo blankets, but it was mainly because you're like cramming a big turbo in next to a right, right. It's, it's cylinder, a and effort and all kinds of wiring power and, thing. Yeah. So they work for heat shielding, but but they can have a very detrimental effect on the component that's inside there because yes, the heat buildup can yeah. be tremendous. Uh, the right way to to keep heat in your exhaust and out of the turbine housing is to do a coating on the inside of the header in the inside of the turbine housing. Uh, this keeps the heat inside where it's supposed to be. It keeps the heat out of uh, the substrate that yeah. you know will get hurt by it. Um, the problem is finding someone who can do a coating that will last on yeah, the inside. You feed your turbine a bunch of coating flakes. Yeah, or just come off and just be a complete waste of money. That's a little harder. There, there was. We used to do a lot more custom turbo systems and things like that. And so I, I had companies that I would work with that I would send stuff out. Yeah, there was what? Um, Jet and Jet Hot was good. We used to use them. I don't know what There's they were a doing. Ton since that, those days. Uh, there was lots of bad ones too. There was a couple local ones here in California that you know, you'd put it in, a month later you take the header out and it's all gone. It just, it just went out the exhaust. Yeah. So, uh, anyways. And the stuff you do at home is a huge waste of time, too. Yeah, I mean, you've got to, like, acid dip these things to get them clean enough to even get anything yeah. here. Yeah, the surface prep it's, is yeah. very critical to get the stuff to stick. 